Welcome everyone who is new. Welcome back everyone who is returning. My name is Jack, spiritual nutritionist, and I want to welcome you to the Mercury Retrograde reading. So this is a replay of the TikTok live reading I did the other day, but whenever you're seeing this, you are meant to. So I really hope you enjoy the reading. Let me know in the comments what resonated. And if you would like to check out different options to work with me, I do have one-on-one -on -one spots as well as three spots left in my Transform Your Trauma Chakras chakra wellness mastermind the link is in the description box so if you want to learn how to transform your trauma into healing for yourself and for others if you want to learn more about the correlation between your emotional body and healing the physical body check out the mastermind all the links are in the description box i hope you enjoy the reading so here we go god's first universe divine creator of all things <laughs> what can we expect for this Mercury retrograde. My birthday is during this re retrograde, you guys. Um, <laughs> my birthday is April 14th. Uh, so it should be interesting. Um, Joe and I will be traveling during this retrograde too. So send us positive vibes. Um, Mercury represents short-term travel, technology, communication of all types, and can also encompass social media. And there's a mocking... A mocking jay just flew on my roof or the roof next to me. So I don't know. Mm. I feel like authenticity, but with the throat chakra, like don't say what people expect you to say. Say what you want to say. That came through big time. All right. Let's see. What is the theme for Mercury Retrograde? Mending. Co-create. TikTok. All right. And then time for a nap. So some of you need more rest. Um, or to give something a break, give something or someone breathing room. That could be yourself or another person. But I feel like mending the healing journey, co-create with spirit. What are you like, what has been on your mind for a while? What have you been trying to create that is based on your healing journey? Your healing journey is meant to create something, and now is the time to do it. Okay, so overall energy is the Three of Swords. So th this is very typical for Mercury Retrograde, guys. Um, three of Swords is uh, could be someone from the past who hurt you, coming back, communicating with you, or it's just the, the feelings of that experience coming back around. Threes could be relevant. Um, you could have saw this person or really been thinking about them in March or something happened with them in March. We do have um, we do have three three here as well. Crossing energy is the world. Closing out the cycle with this person, with this situation, or with this pattern that has hurt you, and moving on successfully, or seeing how this was actually okay. I have talked about this at like nauseum, so I'm just going to, I'm going to say it again. Three of Swords is a pattern that keeps repeating that hurts you emotionally, right? But you guys know what the pattern is. You already know. The crossing energy is the world, the chariot. Let me get one more because that's all me. Are you serious? <laughs> the Empress. Holy crap. Um, some of you need to let your mom go, whether she's physically here or not, or you have connection or you're, you know, you talk to her or not. There's something here where a cycle, you have an opportunity here to close out a cycle that's been passed down to you by your mother, Empress Energy, um, or like a, a, a feminine, a prominent feminine figure in your life, um, and it's time to move on from that. But the thing is, your pain, the cycles, your story, the world, and you closing that cycle is the key to you calling in abundance. Like, I've said this so many times. The chariot is cancer energy. The world is um, Leo Aquarius, uh, Scorpio Taurus 
and then the empress is Libra and Taurus. Okay, so guys, put your story out there, man. Be vulnerable. Put yourself out there. End the cycle of silence. I just heard that. Stop being silent about your experience. Whatever that means to you. Don't be silent about your experience. You're meant to share it. Connect with people on it. Help people heal. Um, Some of you, like, you're ready to move. You're ready to move, relocate. Um, maybe you're adopting, like, a... Um, a new like beauty regimen, health regimen. You're like tired of not prioritizing yourself. Or you're tired of like not stepping out of your comfort zone and missing opportunities. See what your focus is. The sun, your new beginning, your light, your authenticity, your truth. This is Leo, fifth house. Okay. Your creativity could have something to do with children or your inner child. What are you guys wanting to create? What are you wanting to do? What is in alignment with your most authentic self that you keep not doing? Because this Mercury retrograde is like, get to it. Let's go. No more procrastinating. Yeah, seven of swords. And getting rid of that person who steals your light, steals your shine, um, tries to... Uh, Put you down for who you are. You, Your light triggers someone and you know who it is. Your light triggers someone and you know who it is. You need to cut them out. Get rid of them. Okay? Um, this is very uh, relatable for me because I don't talk to my mom or my dad. And my mom is a narcissist. She's very abusive. Abused me growing up. Um, a lot of you already know the story with my wedding, so I won't get into it. If you don't know the story, just let me know in the comments. Um, but it's like this person, there's something they did to you and you're meant to talk about it. Oh, what I was saying is my mom sent me a letter last week, like, basically telling me how she learned how to apologize the right way and you know she acknowledged how her actions affected my self-worth how I love myself um my relationship dynamics yada 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 but it's like same shit different day like I don't feel like it's completely genuine because this is just what she does when I don't talk to her for an extended period of time okay um yeah Rachel basically my mom like stole like took my wedding dress from me because I wouldn't let her plan my bridal shower, which I didn't even have one in the end anyway. Um, and my wedding dress, uh, my grandmother who died when I was 11 left me money for that wedding dress. And then my grandmother who passed, who was my mom in like every emotional sense, she died three years ago. She saw me in that wedding dress that my mom took from me before she died. So that wedding dress w had a, p a part of my grandmother's in it. And it just, it was devastating to me. But I loved my new dress, but it just, it really hurt me a lot. So that was like the, the last straw. <laughs> but anyway, there's something here about don't let your abuser keep you silenced. And when I say abuser, it could be anyone. It could be mental abuse, verbal abuse, emotional abuse, physical abuse. I don't know. But you got to end the cycle of silence. You got to end the cycle of a habit, a person, a place dulling your light. Like there's nothing else you're going to get from this relationship, this person, this location, this job. It's time for you to start something new. Recent past. Hanged man. Yeah, feeling really stuck stagnant, not knowing which direction to go, or being really contemplative. Like, what direction do I go? What do I do? I feel like you felt stuck or like you were hanging in limbo because spirit was like, you need to look at this. Take a deep dive during Pisces season, which was um, mid-February, mid-March, like over the last five weeks or so. 
Yeah, five of pentacles and looking at your lack mentality, lack mindset. Maybe um, you like you used to spend a lot of money on your looks, on what you wear, on your car, on your house, or on material things, and it never made you feel better, right? Or maybe you have a lot of money and you're still fucking unhappy and you're like, well, why? I have everything I should need, blah, blah, blah. Or you guys were really facing or healing through lack mentality, scarcity mindset. Maybe you were healing through rejection or abandonment wounds that were um, triggered by this person, the trauma that this person inflicted on you, okay? I just feel like you guys were really facing that. Um, you could have also been healing through like a physical issue, like health problem some sort of deficiency uh, let's see where you can draw strength four of cups meditate more express gratitude more so rather than asking why is this happening Why, rather than asking why is this happening to me, ask why is this happening for me? What is the benefit of this? And your strength lies in you know what doesn't work already. It's already been shown to you. You know what pattern, what person, what job, what habit, lifestyle choice, what place. You already know what doesn't fucking work. So if, you've, if spirit has shown you what doesn't work anymore, then you should really know quick what does work. Does that make sense? Let me know if this is resonating for you guys. Near future, Queen of Cups. So let's call near future April 25th. That's the end of Mercury retrograde. I'm gonna do a separate reading for post shadow retrograde, okay? But Queen of Cups is being at peace, um, feeling acknowledged. Um, trusting your intuition, like, or feeling really confident in trusting your intuition. Some of you are embracing your gifts. I've been talking, I talk about this so much. Um, who here feels like they are a healer, comment healer, or that you have healing abilities. You're meant to help others heal on their journeys. Queen of Cups energy. She is only second to the high priestess with psychic ability, with healing ability. She is the empath. She is the empath. Okay, or this could be you've healed the relationship you had with your mother. You've healed the trauma you have with your mother. Doesn't mean you're talking to her or interacting with her. It means you've let that shit go and it's not affecting you anymore. Suggested approach to Mercury retrograde. Knight of Swords, take action on what you've been hesitating on. What is this? The Emperor, start the business. I've been saying this. Step into your power. Whatever you feel you have been procrastinating on, cut that shit out. This is Aries. We're in Aries season. This is the time of action. Like literally we'll be in Aries season until April, what, 20th, I think. And then we move into Taurus season. So suggested approach is saying whatever you, whatever you need to cut out and then whatever you need to take action on that you've been procrastinating on, you need to do it before Aries season ends. Period. Stop waiting. Why are you waiting? Um, it's okay if you do it alone. It's okay if you do it alone. That's okay. Some of you, like, this is stepping into your independence or embracing your independence or interdependence if you're in a relationship. I'm not saying like everyone here is in an unhealthy relationship because it's just not true. Um, but you, the suggested approach is taking action based on your needs, your wants, what you want to make happen. Don't let other people dissuade you from taking action on something that's important to you, that you feel strongly about, that you feel passionate about. Who the fuck cares if your sister, brother, husband, wife, mom, dad, sibling, family member, friend disagrees with what you want to do. As long as you're not hurting yourself or anyone else and it's something that's important to you, why would you let anyone stop you from doing it? Why? Because they're going to judge you because they have a different opinion? Who the fuck cares? Are they living your life? No. So cut that shit out. You don't need validation from anyone other than yourself. 
period. Um, what's being, <laughs> uh, what is being shown that's been hidden? Four of Pentacles could be money. Hidden money, hidden property, um, a hidden like family heirloom maybe. Um, maybe you're going to find something that was lost that's of a tangible nature. All right. Um, or it could just be uh, there's security coming in and it could be of a tangible nature. It could even be um, uh, improvement in a health condition as well. Um, and what is uh, what's manifesting for them? Because Mercury Retrograde can actually help you in your finances and business as well. The star! Are you kidding? There's a miracle manifesting. Ooh, okay. Something, the star and the sun, guys, and the empress could be a lot of money, could be fame, could be a, like a big time, like big shift in your career space, um, like big recognition. And the world, too. Some of you are going majorly viral on social media, but it's not like a short-term virality. It's like you're going to be known for something. If you take action on what's important to you, if you share some, it, it's tied to your healing journey, guys. The star is your healing journey. Okay. It's like after all the bullshit, after all the tower moments, the challenges, now you get a reprieve. This is the first time I feel like everyone is falling apart and I'm not. Holy breakthrough. Yes, that's amazing. Let's clarify this a little bit. Are you fucking kidding me? I just asked what's manifest. You get the star and the magician. Mercury. This is Mercury, Gemini, Virgo energy. We have uh, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Leo, double Leo, Cancer, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces. You do not have to be those signs. However, we do have Aries in the North Node, Libra in the South Node. Okay, so South Node, also known as the Tale of the Dragon, is your past. Okay, what you need to let go of, old karma, old stories, old patterns, okay, the shit that your soul is very much done with. Being in Libra it has to do with relationships and anything that causes imbalances, especially in the mind, because Libra is an air sign, okay, your mindset. Aries is a fire sign, cardinal, okay, this is very go-getter energy, all right, so Aries being in the collective north node is saying you need to go after what your inner child is calling you to do your passions, what excites you, what's fun, what's your fucking purpose, go after it, don't let the relationships with other people hold you back from doing what you're passionate about, from doing what is truly authentically you, Aries represents the self, the mantra is I am, can't make it up, and we're in Aries season, of course, you're going to want to align the collective North Node in Aries, which is going to be there until what? May 2025, I think. And then um, align that with your own personal North Node. So Pisces is my North Node, or my North Node is in Pisces. Let me rephrase that, in my third house. Okay, and then Aries is in the North Node. So Aries being the... Um, like uh, the self-starter, the entrepreneur, the go-getter, the innovator. There we go. The innovator. And then Pisces being in, or my North Node being in Pisces in the third house. I am meant to be innovative in speaking about what? Pisces themes, which is ruled by the 12th house. Spirituality, past lives, healing the subconscious, aka your mindset. And approaching life in a more spiritual fashion and speaking about that to people. So, based on this reading, just to give you guys an example, Pisces, my north node, third house, Aries, north node, Mercury retrograde. Okay, I would not be surprised if my social media blows up because this is stuff I talk about all the time. So my Pisces, north node, third house second house cusp. So it could improve my finances as well. We'll see. Okay. I, I trust. <laughs> um, is this making sense to you guys? Um, I'm going to clarify what's manifesting. Oh my God. Strength. All major arcanas, triple Leo. 
Guys, whatever creative venture that you are thinking about starting, whether it's just starting a social media account, starting a business, an Etsy, a Pinterest, I don't fucking know, a, a brick and mortar store, and it's tied to bringing healing to others, probably on social media, could have to do with travel too. Definitely could have to do with travel or again, like how you're stepping out of your comfort zone in some way. Guys, Six of Pentacles. If you want to make money doing that, you're going to. Six of Pentacles. Um, or you're going to get an even energy exchange if you take action on this. Like if you want more gratitude, more love, more support, more stability, more money, um, more peace. It, like whatever you're trying to manifest, you the energy you put into taking action on this is going to be reciprocated back equally by the universe. Okay. Let's see the outcome of Mercury Retrograde. Page of Cups. An unexpected positive turn. King of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, we, lo we love this. Six of Cups. Healing from the past. Mercury Retrograde can bring things from the past back. So page, it could be an apology, like rebuilding a stronger foundation with someone who's apologizing, rebuilding a strong foundation of truth, of integrity, maybe with a child or a parent. Okay. Um, this could also be you sharing your knowledge and expertise in a brand new way, building something brand new that's going to be very lucrative, very successful. Maybe you guys are stepping into a teach, because this could be student teacher. Like if you guys are thinking of becoming a mentor, a coach, um, an educator in some way, there's money in it or there like success. Let me say success. But yes, it can be lucrative. Um, I feel like you're going to align with the right person to help you get something done. Like um, buying a car, uh, buying a house, um, building a business, going back to school. You know what I mean? Like you're going to be able to do these things. It's like spirit is bringing you into alignment with the right people. And Mercury, I think is, tra yes, Mercury is transiting through Aries for this retrograde. And there's an aspect to Chiron as well. So there's a, a healing old wound aspect to this transit. Okay. Chiron is known as the wounded healer, right? So how are your wounds meant to help heal others? Mercury, how are you meant to communicate that in a new way? Aries North Node. Do you, do you guys get this? Are you guys getting it? But that's what I got for you guys. That's what I got. All right. Um, so let me know what resonated in the reading, what you found.